My name is uh, Dr. Peter Froze. A little bit about me. Um, I've been around education for over three decades. Uh, the, my, I began my education in public education in the province of British Columbia, Canada, and um, then continued my education in independent schools in the same province in British Columbia. And more recently, I have been spending the last um, two years in offshore schools here in China with Maple Leaf. Hey, there we go. Um, the students are different. Um, not because, well, certainly they're, they look different because it's a different culture, but they, their focus on education is different. You will not see a student here in China uh, that will be dealing with a drug problem. You won't see uh, drug sales in schools in China, which you will in North American schools. You'll find that um, there is a discipline that the society brings to the educational program and to the environment in our schools. And so uh, when teachers teach in offshore schools, they can focus on supporting the students' learning to a greater extent because the, uh, the social issues that sometimes get brought into schools in our, in our schools back home um, take up a fair bit of time for our teachers. Uh, and, and that does not have to be the case here in China. You will also find that our students have a tremendous interest in learning and advancement. They're here to learn. They're not here to, uh, for a teacher to struggle to get the kids to learn. The students here want to learn. They want to be successful. They are motivated to uh, pursue a post-secondary career, and many of them already know which universities they're targeting to try and get um, a, uh, an opportunity to enter or an offer. Um, and uh, so again, it's a group of kids that um, are a delight to teach. And that's what teachers will tell you when they finish their time in offshore schools. They say, what we will miss the most are the students the opportunity to work with the kids and how delightful that's been. So um, it's a tremendous opportunity, well worth considering. Families strongly support education as they do in uh, families back home. But in China, I would argue education is a higher priority than in many of our fam families um, back home. Uh, in Maple Leaf, I alluded to this, we are, uh, our campus is a community. Uh, we are foreign teachers to a large extent. We uh, don't speak uh, the Chinese language, Mandarin, and uh, so uh, we connect with one another. The other thing is our students are part of this community. They live on campus. And so you will see students engaged in activities after school. You'll see club activities. And if you ever get a chance to see a, uh, a um, talent show, uh, this semester it hasn't been possible because of the unique nature of um, the virus that's affected schools. But under normal, in a normal year, if you see kids in a uh, talent show, it's amazing uh, the skills that those students can demonstrate. Uh, that those are activities that they learn here right on campus. It's, a, it's, a, it's great. 